well, I was picking out. Uh, I was listening to the news, so not sure if you if you're new to the game, you might not know about it. So in the tab four Galnet News. These are all the stories that they have. You can You can read it, or as you're going, you can play it. You can also add it to the playlist and listen to while you're exploring or doing something else. So, just something a little different if you're interested in it. Okay, so, when we left off, we barely hit into Ranger rank. We need about 80 more million. I believe it is. Yeah, we're about 38 million, and we need about 80 million to hit Pioneer. And we are almost 300. 280 million, give or take a little bit, from being elite status. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing is we're here in Mammon now. We're going to go to this one next. These are just stations that we can stop at, get rid of our cartography data in case we kill ourselves. And it saves us closer to Colonia, which is where we're headed. So, uh, I'm going to copy that. Um, M A M M O N. Going to Mammon to that system. C fourteen. We're not getting any there. Let's. Uh, we might be far enough out that it's not going to work anymore. So. I'm going to pull this off to the side. Okay, that is working. And let's go ahead and type it in. BLU AI dash A. C fourteen dash one zero. Yeah, it's not going to give us a route. Um, let's go this. Yeah, that's not even going to give us a route. Okay. So, um, 
I'll put this there. Move this one up this side. Uh, I'm going to minimize that. So we're going to go the old school way. What do we got? 30 something jumps? 28 jumps. So, what we'll be doing is as the route's not going to give it to us, we'll go and honk every system, go into FSS, and see if there's anything worth looking at. If there's a heavy metal content, water world, earth-like world, giant with ammonia-based life, we'll, and it's close by, we'll go take a look. Ooh, that's not gonna be fun. Okay, so we need to go out this direction. And get out from that asteroid belt. Start a jump. And now we can go and jump. Now I have not been through any of these areas, so we are going to keep our fuel fairly topped off. We don't want to go below about half. But that's not going to be too difficult. We're not even going to go into FSS or anything because that just told us all there is is the sun in this system. And so we don't need to go and do a more in-depth scan. See? Just the sun. Next. Stop. Over here. Let's keep this rolling good. Get a honk going. We've got a lot of bodies here. So what I'm gonna do is turn so I can go kind of away from the planet's travel lines and go almost straight up from the sun well, from the star here so we are hopefully free and clear ooh we've got a water world in this system three hundred and eighty three light seconds out so we are going to go through that one I didn't see anything that would I'll go over for, with you real quick 
these squiggly lines here tell us what kind of planets there are by where they're at on the spectral analysis. So, we've high metal content. We do have a high metal content world here also. Right here. And then at this end, we have some gas giants. Actually, we, I know there's going to be a gas giant over here. And by doing these, see this one here? It's a long way out, 264,000 light seconds. But ammonia-based life is a paying planet. That would pay pretty good, but all of these I'm not worried about. Let's see where this one is. Also a long ways away. But we'll go ahead and scan it. I'm not going to do all of the less profitable systems. Still, man, this planets are pretty far out there. Doing a full scan on each system, this, this type of scan will pay you. But I'm more looking for the the quick and easy buck of doing a surface scan on a close by planet and leaving this one here will pay us over a million credits and a full surface uh, full FSS scan of the system is probably 30 40 thousand maybe 60. So we'll just do a surface map of this water world and go, then go on to our next. Doing this, I want to show you what I've got set on a key bind. Because you need to put set that up. Down to Earth Astronomy has a good video on extra key binds you really want to have in game. I'd recommend go watching that video of his. It'll greatly help your uh, gameplay. Because right now, we've got a 27, 26 more jumps scheduled. Um, but, We would have to do the long way to get to the next jump on our route that we have planned. And I'll show you the long way here in just a moment. Okay, the long way to figure that out is to come over here, scroll through until you find this, which is our next scheduled jump point. But if you go into targeting, next system in route, this is usually blank, just like here. And you select something on your keyboard. I have right alt button. 
that will allow you to go from there. You hit, I hit the right alt button. There's our next jump point in our route. Instead of having to scroll through everything, greatly speeds stuff up. And we're right back on route. So it's a handy button to use. And the other one I use is my right control is what I used when I left when we left that base to get us into cruise away from the asteroid field there and be able to jump to the system. It allows you to go into super cruise without a target being act, uh, targeted and you facing it. We've got 10 planets here. There's the lines. We'll go away from them. And the reason we keep going away from the planetary lines is so we have a clean field of view and not have to fight the, the star here. All right. This is ooh, real close to an Earth-like world. We'll find this one here real quick. Rocky Ice World. So that's not going to be something we're looking for and nothing else here. But if we didn't go up, that planet could easily have been behind the uh, star and we wouldn't be able to do the scan. That's why I always go up from the planet's travel lanes, the navigate these here, and that gives us what we need to do a complete scan of that system without having something possibly behind the star. We've got 21 bodies in this system. I can't see the lines. So let's just go from this. This is something we're looking for, Waterworld. There might be a high metal content world here. Eight, 85 light seconds away. So we'll scan that one. Go back to the area of the water world and continue our scan. Here it is. 286 light seconds away. It's been mapped. So we won't get bonuses for that. But let's go ahead. I believe, yeah, there's any more of those. We'll go ahead and hit this heavy world since it's so close. Heavy metal, uh, high metal content. We won't worry about the water world. I'll probably blame myself for doing it later, but oh well.
This is just the way I usually do it before I found road found out about Road to Riches. Actually, even after I knew about Road to Riches, when I was doing long exploration runs, I don't think the Road to Riches gives you stuff well out and away from where people have mapped already. So the further into the black, the higher probability that it won't have the information on your planets. Okay, six target, uh, six probe planet. Oh yeah. And we'll go ahead, just go ahead, skip that water world and head over here. Twenty nine bodies. And there's your trajectories. So let's climb out a ways. High metal content world. Right here, real close by. We'll target it. Gas giants. And there will be a gas giant in this cluster. Oh, there isn't. Ice worlds are all that's popping up. There's one of our gas giants. With water-based life, this planet could pay. Uh, 892 out, but we're not going to mess with it. All right, we've got one more. I don't feel like doing the other 22 planets. I'm not going to hit that up the uh, surface map either. Mainly because I want to try and get this stuff done. There's only a single thing here.
I am probably going to get hot here. I'm surprised my temp's not going up. But I want to top off on fuel. 22 more jumps to go. Head on out. If we give above 75% on temp, I'll cool us off. Nope, we're good. Highly recommend having heat sinks when you're doing the exploration. Alright, we've got a couple of different things here, but I think they're all suns. We got five bodies. We have one unexplored planet. Probably a rocky body. And we're getting realistic, relatively no. Signs we're even coming close. So let's just get to the next system. How about that? got a lot of activity in this system there's the track lines so we'll come up over here 31 bodies All right 70 pop a heat sink get our temps way down we're full of fuel oh yeah we've got some possible money makers here But let's so water world sixteen hundred out. I'm just not seeing anything else that makes me want to stop. So, we're out of here.
if you take your time coming out here, either with a ship that doesn't have really high jump range, or you do an efficient f jumps, either way, you can do shorter jumps and you got more ch systems you'll be looking at. Nothing of interest. We're out of here. We can't get close enough to get a little bit more fuel. And that'll do it. Always keep your fuel levels up because there's times you might be going several systems before you get to another fuel. Even though we've got it set to primarily stick to these kind of systems where we can scoop fuel. We've got plenty, of, a lot of planets here. Go ahead and go on up. And hopefully that's enough height. Nothing's really jumping at me. What, I want, what I'm doing here is I just curious. All right, this doesn't have it as anyone mapping this, that one. Let's see. They're not all that far out, but no one mapped these, supposedly. And you get a bonus if you are the first to map something. Yeah, it's not too far out. But we really don't have anything of interest in this system. So the people probably just skipped it like we're going to. Boom, boom. Let's head on out of here. So basically you have two si ships. One just has less fuel, I mean less jump range than the other. Going to the same place, you're, you're probably gonna hit some different systems. Okay, we got a couple things in this system and what I'm doing is just looking at the map that tells me we got planets here and stuff um, high metal content world and a possibly a pain giant Yeah, can't go through that because it's behind the sun. So, I'm 
Let's try it again. Someone's mapped it. We'll get out of here. The main thing I was doing there is scanning the planet. Next system. I do want to get this thing way out into the black. Away from where everyone else has gone. Away from Colonia. Uh, so I think after Colonia I'm going to go... Astrologically like south. And then... East. To get back to the bubble. Okay, Ammonia World, some of those can actually pay. When you're doing this, right by the sun, keep your ear open. Okay, because if you get too hot, it'll tell you temperature, temperature warning, then you just back out of whatever you're doing and hit your, uh, I done did it again. There we go. Uh, heat sink cool yourself off, move, and then go back to what you were doing. I was looking for that ammonia plan. I wanted, I was checking to see if there's ammonia-based life. Thargoids are ammonia-based life, they, so you get decent money for those type of planets. There's our lines. And the, the harder you throttle, the higher your temps are going to go. So if you're burning up, don't go real high throttle. We got some hot metal contents here. I see bodies. Sixty four light seconds away. We'll go ahead and hit that one.
Do, do, do. Stay away from the moon a little bit. Oh, this is a small planet. If you got to get closer than 20s, it's a small planet. Um, I messed up. I should have done a triangle around this planet. We'll still get the bonus, but I could have done that a lot cleaner. This is a quiet system. I'm still gonna throw it away back. Uh, I think it's just dual sun. Yep, our dual star. Oop, ducked down a little too fast. Always look up here to tell you to see, to see what star class it is. KGB foam are the only ones we can scoop from, so you want to make sure you can scoop before you make your jump, especially if you get low on fuel. And you're at a star you can scoop out of. Oh well, I'm not going to keep looking. This is what I'm talking about, right there. Got a lot in this system. But 
but not on that rocky body. Yeah, we're not going to mess with that. Throw ourselves back up a little bit. And something we can look at. All our modules are still 100%, so we are not the slight heat things we've been doing are not doing any damage. You got to be in the red for quite a while before you get damage. I'd really like it if we could get a first on the stream. Throttle off. We have a possible Earth-like world here. But it's a long way out. And it's a rocky ice world. Low throttle, like I said before. This temp will go down. We're not even in the red yet. Temp's going down. We can roll it and get out of here. I'm not seeing much here. Not that it piques my interest. Got some things here, but yeah, one planet. Not going to worry about. Nine more jumps. Got a lot of stuff here. Go. 
good distance out. Ooh, that is close. We'll hit this one. Take six, so we go back up to this one. I think I'm going to be happy if I get 10 mil out of this section since I'm uh, being so inefficient on my mapping and everything else. Bunch of them out here. As the temperature starts dropping, there we go, full throttle. Let's 
seven more jumps. Oops. As long as it doesn't go in the red, I'm not going to hit sink. We're in. Nothing really showing up there. Yeah. How many more jumps? Five more. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be surprised if we get over to uh, get over 10 mil. We just haven't been doing much. Well, we got some other stuff in this system at least. I think most of it's sons. And let's park it here. Yeah, we're not going to mess with that. more didn't have the throttle all the way up not looking favorable here either. Okay, three sun, the three stars.
All right, we got planets on this one. Ah, but they're all icy bodies. Except for that's a cluster. So we're out of here. If we could get more than 10 on that, but we just haven't been getting high dollar items. A lot of times when I do this kind of stuff, because I'm going after, we've got a lot of bodies here too. Uh, a lot of money. When I do long rides like this, I, a lot of times I'll do it in uh, I'm waiting to see. Okay, we've got high metal. Four eighty out. But it's already been mapped, so I'm not going to worry about it. Next jump is our system. And we'll see what we get. Okay. Oh, man. That's not what I was wanting. I did not realize that. What I'm complaining about is I didn't look as closely as I should have. Because the station in this system is on a planet. And that is not something I wanted to mess with.
B1 has some stuff that would be nice. All right, so let me pull up actually our next two are planetary outposts. So Hillary Depot it is. We're going to have to land on the planet. And the next one is a pretty good jaunt away. But we'll skip that one because it's only twenty light years, thirty light years. I hate when that happens. Shut that off. Be nice if the system was smart enough to say, hey, it's blocked, let's go around. I think I'm going to break over too soon. It might not be that bad. A little short, not too bad. I got data for Empire and a lot. Oh, okay. Any pad that was visible 
a minute ago was for that beluga liner, not for us. Because we'll be doing one of these small ones here. That beluga liner was, I think, hitting this one right here. How low? Yeah, not even four mil. We did not do enough planetary scans. One. That was probably a planetary scan. Yeah, some of those scans didn't pay all that much. But that's enough for us to get some more comfort. Yeah, reputation change, reputation change. What kind of mission board does he have? Just curiosity being out here in the boonies. mining stuff. Give me money. All right. Dang. There's actually a tourist trade here. Commodities market, let's see what they... They're selling bio waste and hydrogen fuel. Okay. Look. Lagoon. Tour and I dash S B four dash one zero, and that's going to be a ways out again. Ooh, going to be looking cool though. Uh, it's going to be a lot of jumps, though. 55 jumps. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I mess up? I did. 
it's going to get even further away but not by much it might still be 55 jumps F W W D one dash one twenty two. So we'll be in the heart of the nebula. Fifty six jumps. All right. Uh, I'm going to pause. The stream. I'm going to stop the stream and restart it. Just because the amount of time it's going to take. I don't want three and a half, four hour videos. So, reset. Reset. 